All right, so this is Pat Tucker. She's uh, an anaesthetist and she's, um, she's doing a good job here keeping this patient safe. So uh, Pat's going to give us a bit of a, a rundown on what the anaesthetic machine is and uh, all the equipment that she's got at her disposal during your operation to be able to make you safe and to be able to ensure that your anaesthesia goes smoothly. So uh, over to you, Pat. Just give us a, a bit of a rundown on, uh, on what all these machines show you. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is our anaesthetic machine. This is the monitoring that we keep a close eye on you um, during the surgery. So we start off with um, the airway equipment. So this is the mask that you'll get um, hopped onto your face or just above your face if you're feeling a bit claustrophobic um, as we pop you off to sleep. Then once you're asleep, we'll use this metal instrument or to, to put in this breathing tube, or sometimes we just put in this breathing tube. It just depends on, on the type of patient and, and the anaesthetic preference as well. Then once you're asleep with your um, airway in, then we have you on the vent, or usually have you on the ventilator. All right, so let's show and a little bit of the ventilator going up and down there. Yep. Yep, there we go. Yep, perfect. And we, yeah. Give you some oxygen, and I've got some air on at the moment, so I've got 50% oxygen, 50% air. Then we can keep you asleep with the gases, or we can keep you asleep with the propofol, which is yep. So I'll just which is the white medicine. So over here, so I I use the white medicine to keep patients asleep. And then during the surgery, we keep a very close eye on all our monitors here. So we have the ECG and the heart rate up the top. Then we have the oxygen and saturation in your blood, which is this number. Um, so 100% is as good as you can get. 97 is good, the patient looks good there. Then the next line is the CO2, the um, what you're breathing out. So we keep an eye on what, what amount of CO2 you're breathing out um, and that it's, it's yeah, looking good there. Um, then we have the blood pressure as well, keep a close eye on that. Um, and then this screen is just to do with the ventilation, so um, we set that appropriate to the patient and make sure that we're adequately ventilating them so that we're getting an adequate oxygen saturation up here and an adequate um, any tidal CO2 there as well. And then. Yeah, this monitor is a very important one as well. This is the BIS monitor, the one that we put on your forehead. So this gives us a number of how asleep you are. So ideally, if it's under 60, then you are asleep. Um, when you're awake, if it's close to 198 or 100, and we do yeah, keep a very close eye on that during the surgery to make sure that you do stay falling asleep during it. Like what you've been falling asleep. And that's it. Awesome. Thanks, Pat. My pleasure.